Okay, basically, uh, uh, we are going to talk about uh, open, uh, optimized workload placement using a new batch scheduling algorithm. So we are working with uh, Lenovo Cloud Technology Center, uh, and we uh, kind of integrate all the cloud technologies. Uh, so this is one of the real problem we discussed with a customer and uh, uh, we go ahead to implement this uh, kind of small tool and trying to help cus our customer. So Nova Scheduler today, uh, basically Nova take a, a workload order and workload order basically translate to uh, Nova API and uh, Nova Scheduler takes the request from API and also look at the uh, Nova placement uh, and the resource tracker getting from the Nova compute node and makes a decision to place a workload in certain compute node. And Nova scheduling algorithm mainly is, is called a filter scheduler. And first, the scheduler goes through the list of the compute node and applies the filters. Filter can be RAM, storage, can be affinity, anti-affinity, and after filter out some host, some compute node, then the weights basically, Nova apply some weights. Uh, it can be RAM, can be uh, I/O specific to that compute node, so that uh, the compute node will ordered in certain way. So the first, um, basically, the weight most weighted compute node will be taken as a, as, a place, uh, as a workload, to place a workload. And in the following, I will work through some basic uh, uh, examples uh, to explain what's the main idea of the batch scheduling versus the sequential scheduling. Uh, the first issue uh, we look at is only look at one dimension, uh, it's virtual CPU. Uh, the example we have, like, we have two compute nodes. Um, each, we have the, I, I show here is uh, the utilization of virtual CPU. And the request basically coming in from a workload pipeline, for example, this is one virtual CPU request. And Nova basically can easily find the solution. Then come to a second request, but in this case, there are no fit for the second request because uh, Nova Scheduler have no, no visibility for the future request, it's just don't have the knowledge. But on the other hand, if we have a batch scheduler, uh, it's easier to place the workload, um, to plan the workload. A second example I want to give is, uh, is basically two-dimensional CPU and RAM together. Uh, same idea. Nova can place one, but the second may, it's because it's a, another dimension that cannot fit. Um, but for the batch scheduler, you know, it, it's just easy to, to find an um, optimal solution. So, and the workload actually is um, multi-dimensional uh, nature, and there's lots of, um, it's a characteristic uh, to consider in the in the workload, RAM, CPU, storage, and there are other performance measurement. For example, uh, SDD, SRO, v, VFs. Uh, there are also some policy related like affinity, anti-affinity, um, and there's something even more people not even consider today, like thermal. Uh, if you do a placement, you want to avoid some hot spot. So um, this can be all optimized in the, in the scheduling algorithm. Um, in, I also have an example here to show that uh, the complexity of the um, flavor, basically for this flavor, uh, the request is six CPU, but it's across two different uh, NUMA node. And even the memory request is different on different NUMA node. So to basically to find uh, optimal solution for this kind of multi-dimensional uh, request, 
uh, workload request, it's, uh, it's difficult usually. Um, and um, in, we basically propose to have uh, kind of this kind of batch scheduler and take work order and also consider the policies as an input. The policy can be related also uh, the something we mentioned, for example, uh, affinity and anti-affinity. One example of anti-affinity um, policy can be if it's uh, just cross different compute node or it's actually cross the rack, for example. This can be can be an input of a policy. Um, and the output of the placement plan will be deterministic. So that means it will work out a plan and uh, for the uh, basically place a workload, schedule, um, have the workload on a particular uh, host or compute node so that Nova will just take this transparent send to uh, um, send to uh, do a placement instead of uh, recalculate the, the, the compute node. So this can be done, for example, by specify the uh, availability zone. So uh, basically, the each available zone it can be a one compute node. So you can you can basically specify the compute node in that way. So that's a, that's one way to do it. Um, the scheduler core algorithm basically we uh, first uh, apply all the constraints and uh, do the multi-dimensional optimization. Um, the problem is a known NP hard problem. Uh, basically, it means if you find the optimal solution, it takes a long time. Basically, the searching algorithm is long, take a long time. And uh, here we, uh, um, there, in this literature, basically, there, there are known solutions for this. Uh, people usually do heuristic algorithm. Like, example here is most loaded first, uh, least loaded first. Basically, most loaded trying to pack the workload uh, on certain compute node. And on the other hand, the least loaded try to balance all the workload to all the compute node. Um, genetic algorithms, on the other hand, can, can take consideration of all the um, uh, request, uh, multi-dimensional uh, request, and try to optimize it. Um, simulating the annealing similar, is very similar to genetic algorithms, but in this implementation, we use genetic algorithm. Um, uh, the work we do is simulate the set up simulate uh, environment and basically sim simulate <coughs> the, the result. In the environment, we have ten nodes, and each node have uh, forty core and. Uh, 500 gig memory. Um, we only, uh, when we con take consideration of the mix load uh, with uh, NUMA and non-NUMA load. Um, so we compare the genetic algorithm and the most loaded uh, f first and the least loaded first algorithm. So the result is very promising for the genetic algorithm. Um, we have two Profile basically considered for the for the workload. We have multiple low side, but two set of uh, workloads. So high workload basically have high virtual CPUs require, required, in, um, and it's uh, range from eight CPU to twenty four CPU, and the medium workload is uh, four to twelve CPU. So basically, the workload is gen uh, randomly generated. Um, and um, we try to place this. And if you look at the diagram, the ver uh, basically the vertical axis showing the percentage that the total workload is placed, uh, and the one to three means the, the basically different workload uh, profile or workload set samples. So um, here is the basically key takeaway, and uh, from this. Uh, Lighting talk, uh, batch scheduler provide better workload place placement, and it's good. Uh, genetic algorithm is generally good approach for multi-dimensional optimization. 
uh, it's also much better in our simulation result showing that it's much better uh, than uh, uh, most loaded and least loaded first algorithms. And we are looking to uh, basically extend our work um, uh, and work with NOVA and um, virtual project to uh, get, um, you know, get involved and uh, open source this, uh, this tool to like community to use it. Thank you. Any questions?